In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your footage look more cinematic. So this technique that I'm gonna show you is very basic. It's a very simple technique, but the results are really good. I pulled these stills from Shot Deck, which is pretty much just a massive library of movies. And I wanna show you something. I know the word cinematic gets thrown around a lot, but I wanna show you similarities that these stills have. So we got this guy, this, 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 and this. And I want you to look at the scopes. Where does the information lie? It's always in the bottom half. Bottom half, bottom half, bottom half, bottom half. Let me show you. This shot is airy, so we're gonna go through the normal procedure to grade. Because it's airy and it's only one shot, my timeline needs to be airy and my output is 2.4. This matters because if I use tools in here that are color space aware, this tells Da Vinci how it should operate. So now we are gonna just add a CST. We're gonna change it from Ari, Ari to Eurek 709. Okay, gonna add a pre node. And this is usually where we do our primaries, right? So we'll do exposure, which is offset. I'm using my panel, just using my eye here. Let me just do this so that you can get a better view. There we go, clips. We're going exposure. While I'm looking at my exposure, I'm looking at my false color here to look at the skin. It's in the right area. And then next one. You're gonna do, usually we do contrast here. And now contrast, you can go either offset down, gain up, offset down, gain up, that's one technique. You can also do contrast, pivot, and offset. On this one, I'll use that. So I'll go contrast, going with my eye, offset up and down, and then pivot is the middle point where the contrast pivots around. So normally, we are here now. And the image doesn't look bad at all. It looks pretty good. But to get a more cinematic feel, look at these scopes. You can see all the information is kind of spread out through the whole thing. But we actually want the information, the majority of it, to be at the bottom. Let's just call this cinematic. I mean, theoretically, you could also do this on look development stage. But just for this example, I'm going to show you this technique. And it's very basic. It's nothing fancy. You don't need any fancy plugins, nothing. All you're going to use is your lift, your gamma, and your gain. But you're going to use it in a special type of way. Bring up these clips again. Now I'm looking at the skin. I'm looking at the brightness of the image. I don't want to make it crazy dark, but I want to rebalance the information in the shot. And how I do that is I'm going to bring down the gamma and I'm going to move up the lift. So I'm going to take my entire image you see here in the scopes and I'm going to push the majority of the information to the bottom, but keep the highlights still bright. So I'm using lift and gamma. So lift is going up, gamma is going down, lift is going up, gamma is going down. You can see on the scope, it's slowly moving, slowly moving. Okay, so this is on and off. You can see I'm compressing it. While I'm doing that, is I'm also, gamma is going down, gain is going up. Gamma is going down, gain is going up. So I'm looking at the brightness here and I wanna keep it the same type of brightness. It's gonna get a bit darker, but you'll see the highlight points are still at the top and see what the had that did to the image. We can even go even more. So we're gonna push down the gamma, lift a little bit up, down the gamma. Now we're really getting to like a kind of a thick cinematic feel. This is on and off. So this was original. This is more of like a commercial type of look. And now after we just played with the primaries, you can see the difference. And I can even go into my false color I'm like, I want the brightness on our skin to stay the same. So I'm gonna go up with the gain, up with the gain, down with the gamma. Okay, so that's pretty close to the same type of brightness, but you can see it has a completely different feel to it. And that's pretty much how you get a more cinematic 
type of shot. Play around with it between gamma and lift and gain and see what you can come up with. Remember, you're gonna pull up lift, you're gonna push down gamma. You kinda wanna compress that bottom part together and keep the gain at a good spot. Just to let you know, I recently opened up one-on-one -on -one sessions. So if you have specific color grading questions or you have an upcoming project that you wanna talk about, I'll leave the link in the description below.